going on everybody? I'm here to give you another tutorial for the Xbox 360 Light On DVD Drive. Today we're going to replace the Xbox 360 worm motor. That is what moves the laser back and forth to uh, read different parts of the disc. And the uh, only thing we're really going to need to do this are the uh, small Phillips head jewelry slash electronic screwdrivers. Um, so let's get started here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to take out the four screws going around the bottom. set those screws aside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this outer shell off. Now we're going to pull the top half off. I'm going to set that aside. Now, what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to get this disc tray to eject itself. So in order to do that, you can, there's a little piece of plastic right here. And what you do is you shove that in there and that will help eject it, just like that. <coughs> we could take the tray out if we wanted, but it's pretty pointless. Uh, no real reason to do that, so we're not going to. Alright, now what we got to do is we got to remove this laser arm off of the worm motor. This right here is the worm motor. So what we'll do is we'll um, take this screw out, just like this, and remove the laser arm. Alright. Now that's detached, as you can see. Uh, we will have to take this uh, arm out right here as well as the laser too, otherwise we can't slide it out. So um, what we're going to do first, let's go ahead and detach the uh, laser ribbon here. Alright, and now we're going to take out both of these clamps. So we just got to unscrew the screws that hold each of the clamps on. Just be careful not to lose these. Keep good track of them because they are important, very important. <coughs> All right. Now we're going to close this back up and we're going to slide this laser as far back as we can because uh, it's a lot easier to put uh, take this bar out when this laser is slid back as far as possible. So after you've done that, we'll. Uh, go ahead and push this again to eject everything back out. Like so. Now all you got to do is just pull this side of the bar out and pull it out just like that. And we'll set that aside as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, flip, this up, flip this back over. Now we're going to move both of the screws that hold this on. Uh, actually, first let's go ahead and remove this laser ribbon. There's a little lock, and all you got to do is you got to pull that lock out, and then uh, kind of get that uh, ribbon out of there. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, take these screws out. <coughs> Okay, and then like that is going to loosen up and pop right out, just like so. Alright, now let's get the replacement here. And it's going to be the same story, just uh, kind of reversing your steps here. So we're going to slide this back on, make sure that the um, that uh, this part that attaches to the uh, laser arm is on the top, or bottom as it is when you right now when you've got it flipped over. And then make sure that locks in until there's little holes and little um, rivets that will kind of hold that in place. Now we're going to reattach the screws that hold this in. Alright, now we're going to reattach the laser ribbon. I'm just going to uh, take it, get it stuck in there, and then get that lock and close it back down on it. If I 
get it in there correctly. All right. Now we're going to flip this back over. We're going to get the laser and all that back in. So grab your laser with the uh, laser bar. Now, uh, first we're going to stick in this end. And then what we got to do is we got to uh, we got to wedge this in here while we uh, uh, get that in there. So it's kind of like you're going to use this to guide it into this bar as well as getting it stuck in there just like that. Now we're going to get our clamps for the uh, laser bar and we're going to uh, reattach this. Sometimes it's easier to put the um, little clamp down first. and then go back and put the screw in. Otherwise you take a chance on shooting the screw somewhere and getting it lost. Alright, now let's get this other one attached. And while you're attaching this other one, just make sure that everything is still in place and nothing kind of slid out of where it's supposed to be. get the laser arm. Let's go ahead and slide our laser back down some. And we'll get this laser arm attached. Now I will tell you with this laser arm you do not want to over tighten it. Um, just get it kind of snug and that's all you need to do. If you over tighten it it's going to strip strip out the, um, the hole that it goes into inside a laser. And so you'll either need to super glue it which is only temporary fix or you'll have to basically eventually buy yourself a new laser. Now we're going to get this laser ribbon back in there. Just kind of slip it back in just like you, you took it out earlier. And then uh, close the lock back on it. Just like that. And that is how you replace the Lydon worm motor. Uh, of course we will go ahead and start to put this case back on. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys and uh, if it did make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe. Uh, I do a lot of uh, repair tutorials. I do a lot of case modding for uh, game consoles. So uh, make sure to subscribe or you'll definitely be happy that you did. And uh, I'm not going to show all this because it's pretty simple and self-explanatory to put the screws back in there. So anyways guys until next time.